Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and this video is going to be for my playlist Forensic Science and Genetics and in this video I'm going to talk about split peaks, what causes this type of STR electrophorogram artifacts and if you would take a look at picture A you would see two peaks here. Actually we should get two peaks for each locus but you see that each peak consists of two peaks and it is more prominent here and on the picture C uh, we see split peaks that is about same size. So how to analyze such electrophorograms and uh, what cause this split peaks? Uh, let me draw a picture and imagine that we have double stranded DNA here. Let's say the sequence is going to be guanine, cytosine, adenine, adenine, thymine, thymine, cytosine, thymine, adenine, cytosine, cytosine, and guanine. And on the corresponding strand of the DNA, second strand, bottom strand, we would have uh, guanine would base pair with cytosine, guanine here, thymine, thymine, adenine, adenine, guanine, adenine, thymine, guanine, guanine, and cytosine here. And uh, when we run first cycle of the uh, PCR, and if we rise uh, temperature to about 80, 98 degrees of Celsius, these two strands would separate. And if we also add primers, we would be able, with the help of the DNA polymerase, to build new strands of the DNA. So let's imagine that uh, we have five prime end here. That means that here we would have three prime end and we would have 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. And where should our uh, primers go? Uh, as you know, new strand of the DNA only grows from 5 prime end to 3 prime end, so here is going to be a site for primer. Primer would have 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. And DNA polymerase would add new um, nucleotides from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. And as for the second strand of the DNA, uh, what primer we should design? We should design primer that would go here. It's going to have 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. And once again, uh, polymerase, DNA polymerase would add new nucleotides for from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. So, of course, uh, we would have millions of primers uh, type 1, type 1, and we would have also in uh, our polymerase chain reaction, millions of primers type 2. So, sequence is going to be guanine, cytosine, and adenine here. And sequence of this primer going to be cytosine, guanine, and guanine. But, actually, this is not the whole picture. Uh, DNA Polymerase also has um, terminal uh, transferase uh, activity and would add adenine at the 3' prime end and would add adenine here at the 3' prime end. So as you see, actual uh, PCR product would be of this size and actual template product 
would be by one one nucleotide smaller. So once again here compare sizes and this is going to be PCR product. So uh, actually when we get final PCR product we have a mixture of uh, initial template DNA uh, which is going to be by one nucleotide smaller and majority majority of the uh, new strands of the DNA that would be made uh, would be of the size which is going to be n plus one and in about 85 percent extra uh, nucleotide going to be adenine but in other 15 percent this is uh, this can be whether cytosine, guanine or xymine. So uh, now let's return to but once again if you think that uh, with each cycle we would have uh, products uh, that would have extra adenine here and so on and uh, actually this is not so because our primers designed uh, for the same uh, for the same sequence which is going to be here attachment site and another sequence is going to be here attachment site for our primers and even if we have extra adenine here and here it just would be left just like overhangs and uh, new primers would go here so the sequence going to be first of all let's find sequence of this uh, strand of the DNA so here we have guanine cytosine and cytosine so here our sequence by the way this is going to be 5 prom and this is going to be 3 prom and and sequence going to be cytosine guanine guanine so as you see this is the same primer that is here 5 prom and cytosine guanine guanine 5 prom and cytosine guanine guanine and this adenine just would be uh, left over just like overhang and the same history with this adenine here so uh, new strand of the DNA would be made and at the uh, 3 prime end here once again we are going to get extra adenine here so uh, once again uh, the number of uh, strands that is going to be uh, size n depends on amount of the uh, initial DNA that we use for uh, PCR and now we can return to our picture and let's again analyze what we see here and on the first picture we see that uh, this peak here and this peak here on the second picture this peak here this peak here, this peak and this peak is made by template uh, product and here we have a small amount of the template uh, not small uh, it's still uh, a lot more than uh, optimal number but uh, number is growing from picture A to picture C initial number of the template uh, DNA and probably uh, not uh, enough uh, cycles so someone decided because he has a lot of uh, uh, template DNA he can reduce number of cycles but a uh, second uh, peak represent here and here and here and here and on picture see this peak and this peak actually 
PCR product that is n plus 1 and uh, actually how we can get right of these artifacts here and as you probably already guessed we just have to reduce initial amount of the uh, DNA and uh, second uh, solution can be optimize uh, PCR how we run PCR after we finish PCR we can incubate the final product for about um, 45 60 minutes at temperature that is uh, between 65 degrees of Celsius and 72 and uh, terminal activity of the uh, DNA uh, polymerase which is uh, terminal uh, transferase activity uh, would add extra nucleotide to all uh, PCR products and actually scientists know about this uh, activity of the DNA polymerase that's why for analysis we use this peak which represent n plus 1 and peaks which represent uh, template size of the DNA under optimized conditions of the PCR we shouldn't be able to see at all. Now the question is should we run PCR uh, again or capillar uh, electrophoresis? Actually not. We just uh, should understand what we see here and uh, should take uh, the peak on the right for our analysis which represent n plus 1. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.